it establishes an actual relationship between Sam and Rosie. Now, I'm not saying that either version of Rosie Cotton, movie or book, is exactly the most fleshed out character. Either way, her purpose is pretty much to fawn over Sam, but the scouring shows, you know, actual reasons that she'd be into Sam. In the book, Rosie implies she was actually always into Sam and just waiting for him to get over his shyness. And she's all the more impressed with him now. The movie Rosie is nice to Sam, which I guess in movie language means into him. But it's certainly a flimsier basis for a relationship, especially compared to his infinitely better developed relationship with Frodo. It's no wonder people accuse the movie Marriage of being another case of Hollywood no homo. In the book, we get confirmation that Rosie likes Sam before we're even certain that he likes her. Again, it's the bare minimum of groundwork for a romantic relationship, but it's a hell of a lot better than the movie gives. Also, couldn't they at least have kept the part where Sam and Rosie move into Bag End so that the final shot would have been of Bag End and not some other hobbit hole we have no emotional attachment to? Ooh.